Welcome to Pro Stitcher Designer Tutorials. In this video, we are going to learn how to use the backdrop tool to audition a quilt. So the first thing that we're going to do is we want to go to our Tools tab and then click on Backdrop. And then I want to find my photo. My photo is actually on my desktop, but you'll have to find where you've saved your photograph of your quilt and I'm going to click on my photo and open it. Okay, if your photo loads and it's not in the same orientation that you want it, you can come over here to the right hand sidebar in the backdrop sidebar and click on rotate. I'm going to do that a couple of times to get it the way I want it. Excellent. Okay, you'll notice that my photograph is not straight. So we have a tool that we can use to fix that. What I want to do is right click on the picture and I want to define the horizon. My icon has, or my cursor has changed and I'm going to bring it to one corner and I'm going to left click and hold that mouse down as I drag this line across and I want to keep it on a straight line how I want the quilt to be and then let go and you'll notice that the picture rotated so that I now have a horizontal line across the top. So that is defining the horizon. The next thing that I want to do is change the size of this picture to reflect an actual quilt. So if you notice over here we have a width of almost 48 inches and a height of almost 60 inches. I know that this block right through here is actually an 8 inch block. So I'm going to right click and hit define scale. I'm going to do similarly to what I did with the define the horizon is I'm going to left click and drag to the other end of that section that I know the measurement on and let go. A window will pop up and I can change that requested length to be the actual measurement of the block. So I'm going to put 8 inches and hit OK. You'll notice up here that the width and the height have now been adjusted to reflect that each individual block is an 8 inch block. Okay, I'm going to hit my space bar to bring that all into focus. I can also use the scroll on my mouse to scroll in and out. And then I'm going to bring in a design that I want to test on here. So I'm going to click on my designs and pick a continuous line design. I'll, I'll go with, let's pick bubbling over. That looks like a fun one. So I'll drag it over. I want to resize that design so that it is what size I want to quilt it out at. So I'm going to go to my transform button over here on the right hand sidebar and I want to change my height. I make sure that the maintain aspect ratio is turned on and I want a height of, I'm going to put 15 inches so that I can maximize my throat space. I'll come down and hit apply. And you'll notice that it's kind of hard to see the design over top of that picture. So what I want to do is I'm going to click on the backdrop again and that brings up my backdrop in the sidebar. And I want to go over here to adjust lightness. I'm going to take the scroll bar and slide it over to lighter and I'm going to hit apply. So you can still see that quilt in the background but you can also see the design here. With that design, I'm going to make sure it's selected. And then I'm going to use the repeat function. And I'm going to add a bunch of repeats in there. And you can see the final size down here. I want to change that gap a little bit. So I'm going to do the point to point and that'll snap those together and I can change the vertical gap as well if I'd like and nest those a little bit closer together. 
When I'm happy with how that design looks, I'm going to hit Apply and OK. And it's going to cover up that picture. So I can zoom in a little bit here. And that will give you an idea of what the design is going to look like to scale on your quilt top.